Let's take a look at some of the new features in AutoCAD for Mac 2019. German and Japanese languages are now supported in AutoCAD for Mac. You can change the languages in the Application Preferences dialog. Restart AutoCAD for Mac to see the language change. With the DWG Compare feature, you can quickly identify the differences between two drawings, which you can then resolve. Here I have two versions of this office floor plan, but I'm not sure what the differences are between them. From the toolbar, I'll select DWG Compare. DWG Compare creates a new drawing and highlights the differences between them using color and revision clouds. Using the arrows, I can navigate between the revision clouds. The gray objects are everything that's common to both drawings. The green objects are unique to the first drawing, and the red objects are unique to the second. From settings, I can toggle compared objects off and on, change the color of the compared objects, open the compared drawing, toggle text and hatch patterns, and toggle the revision clouds. I can also set the revision clouds to polygonal and adjust the margins around the changed objects. If needed, I can save the compared drawing for future reference, or go back to designing now that I'm aware of the differences. We added a user interface for the purge command, so it's easy for you to purge multiple types of objects at the same time. By default, all named items are selected for purge. I can show details to select categories or individual items to purge. I can highlight individual items to see the preview. Before I purge, I can view the maximum amount the drawing size can be reduced. This makes it easier to determine which items to purge. You'll notice we made improvements to the user interface layout of the plot dialog moving the more frequently used options to the top. I can hide the options at the bottom if I don't use them very often. The new plot preview makes it easy to see if you've selected the appropriate settings, and makes plotting more efficient. With the new Views and Viewports feature, you can create views while you're designing. Then you can quickly insert any of the saved views in a layout. From the toolbar, I'll select New View. I'll give the new view a name and select Define Window. I can zoom and pan for better detail of the area I want to show. I'll create a window around the area I want to include in my new view. When I'm done, I'll press Enter. Now that I have several views created, I'll add them to a layout. From the toolbar, I'll select the View Gallery. This gives me thumbnails of the available views to insert. I'll select Floor Plan and drag it to the layout. The preview gives me an idea of the scale of the view and how it will fit on the layout. I'd like the view to be a little larger on the layout, so I'll right-click and select a larger scale from the list of available options. When I'm happy with the scale, I'll click to add the view to the layout. I can also select the viewport and from the triangle grip, select a new scale from the list of available options. I can use the new center grip to move the view, and grips on the corners to resize the viewport without changing the scale. If model space is active, selecting any named view switches to that view. A new XREF layer system variable lets you specify a default layer on which XREFs are inserted. This saves you from having to change the XREF's layer after it's inserted. The XREF layer is only displayed in the Layer Manager when an XREF is attached to the drawing. To make it easy to see which XREF layers have overrides, a new XREF override layer filter is automatically created as soon as overrides are applied. 
I can remove any overrides using the shortcut menu on the XREF layer. We hope you enjoy the new features, enhancements, and languages brought to you in this release of AutoCAD for Mac.